Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, if you do any kind of text editing on the Linux command line, including editing configuration files, you're probably going to meet up with VI or Vim, its modern equivalent. Now, VI is a very interesting and kind of sometimes strange text editor, but you really do need to know how to use it because it really can help you in those moments when you want to do text editing from the command line. So if you want to find out a bit about Vi, how to kind of survive in there and do some basic stuff, well, please, let me explain. Okay, so here we are on my Raspberry Pi. This is a Linux command line. And of course, to get into Vi or Vim, you type vi that's how you get into it and then the name of the file you want to edit so i've got a c program here that i wish to edit okay and then you press enter and you are now inside of vi now the first important thing to notice if i press for example here the j key you'd expect normally it to type the letter j here at the very top of the program but in fact it doesn't what you actually notice is the cursor starts going down and if i was to press the k key the cursor starts going up and if I press L the cursor starts going to the right and there's no typing going on. So the first fundamental lesson about uh, VI and Vim is it has modes and the first default mode that you're in is called the command mode where you're actually able to do things to the text file, uh, move around in it, you're able to even do like uh, different searches and things like that but you don't actually edit the file. So if you actually want to edit the file I can add things to it. Well, let's actually, here I am on this line, you have to press the I letter and that will put you into insert mode. And now, as I start to press any of these keys, I'm actually now typing in this file. And if you do backspace, for example, notice that it doesn't actually delete those things until I, I finish typing. Okay, and then it types over them. So it's not like you'd expect in a, in a traditional editor. And then to get out of this insert mode and get back into that command mode, you press escape. And now once I press escape, that line has been changed according to what I uh, wanted it to do. Now at this point, it's probably just worth mentioning if you press U, then you can do an undo, and we'll talk more about that uh, in a second. So once you're inside of a command mode, rather than inside insert mode, you can do things like, for example, I could delete a whole line. So if I come here on this line and press D, nothing happens, press D again, and it deletes the whole line. And I can do that again, D, D, and now the whole line is. So D, D is delete a line. Now, one of the interesting tips you can do with um, uh, a Vi and Vi and Vim is that you can use the dot to repeat the last command. So if I just press dot now, full stop, period, or however you want to call it, it will repeat that last command. So now by pressing one key, I'm actually continuing to delete lines because that's what I did last time. I asked it to delete a line doing D and D, and now dot will continue to repeat it. Now, another interesting thing about uh, VI is when you're in command mode, you can actually get the uh, editor to do things multiple number of times. So we were deleting lines one at a time there, but if I type three and then DD, it deletes three lines because it knows to do the DD, which delete a line, but it does it by three. And then interestingly, if I press dot, it will actually delete three lines again. So the, the dot repeats exactly what was done before, even if that meant repeat that command several times, three lines to be deleted, dot will actually do that three line delete as well, just by pressing the single dot there. Now, another interesting thing you can do in command mode, you can start deleting characters and you do that by using X. So if I press X here, it will start to delete these lines one at a time. So we're not in insert mode. I can't add things in, but we're in command mode where we are deleting things. Now, before when I wanted to insert into the file, I'd press I for insert. But if I want to start a new line, I can press O and that will actually bring down the cursor, start a new line. And now I can type here. Uh, everything on a new line and of course escape to get out of insert mode and back into command mode. In a similar way, if I am here on this line here, for example, if I do capital A, so shift and A, that will append at the end of the line. 
Okay, so you can actually say, please go to the end of the line and add this, rather than having to go to that place and then pressing insert to uh, go to the end, you can just say append at the end of a line. And while we're talking about the beginning and end of lines, when you're in command mode, zero will take you to the beginning of a line and dollar will take you to the end of a line. So zero, dollar, zero, dollar will get you to the beginning and the end of a line. Now, if you want to search for something while you're in command mode, you press forward slash, and then the string you want to look for. So let's look for the word thread. Okay, and that will find the first instance of the word thread, and then N to search for the next instance of it. So N, N, N. Okay, and if you do capital N, so big N, shift and N, it will go backwards. So it will search backwards to where you want to go to. So forward and backwards searching. And similarly, you can do a, a, a string replace and you do that again by pressing in command mode, colon, percent S, this seems a bit strange, but you would get used to it. Forward slash the string you want to search for, thread, and then what you want to replace it with, let's say bread. And as we do that now, it's gone through. And as we can see here where it says P thread join, it's now P bread join because we've uh, replaced the word uh, th uh, thread with bread. Now you can actually undo that by pressing U as I uh, talked about a bit earlier on. Now while we're talking about undo, if I do DD, 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 I've deleted three lines there. But if I press U, it will undo the change, the last change. But if I press U again, it doesn't undo another step. It doesn't go through the history. It just does that one thing. It only undoes the last thing that you did. To go back further, you do U first of all, and then Control R to bring back the other things that I did. So U for the first undo, and then Control R for subsequent uh, undos. Now a quick uh, one more thing we'll look at before we tackle the big topic of how do you actually save files and get out of VI, which can be quite complicated. What we can do is how do you jump to a line number? Well, if I wanted to jump to line number 30, what you do is you type 30 in command mode, nothing's happened, and then uh, big G, capital G, so shift and G, and it will now jump to line 30. And if I want to go to line uh, 35, 35, and then big G now jumps five lines down to line 35. So that's how you can do line navigation, particularly if you've got an error that says online so-and-so in your C program, in your Python script, in this uh, shell file, there's an error. You can jump to that line using that. Okay, how do you uh, exit out of VI? Well, there are several different ways of, of doing it. The first one, and maybe the best one to know, is if you want to get out and don't change anything. So you've got in there by mistake, you want to just get out and leave everything as it was, please get me out of here. Make sure you press escape. That makes sure that you are in command mode. Then do colon, Q, exclamation mark. And that will get you out of there without changing a single thing. Okay, now if we wanted to change a thing, let's say here it's now 2019. So I'm now going to press I for insert and then 2019. Okay, and then we're going to press escape. If I now wanted to get out of here uh, and save the changes, the easiest way is colon X. Okay, and that now goes out and saves the changes we can see there. An alternative to that, let's just say we're going to uh, put in a, a space uh, there. Put in a space here like that. Okay, and, and either, another way to get out is to do colon W Q right and then quit, which is basically the same as uh, X. And then uh, another way of doing it, if I do another change here, let's just insert again uh, these um, spaces here. Uh, and this is actually the way I do it from just the years of using uh, VI, is you just do escape to make sure you're in command mode, and then two capital uh, Zs, or Z, depending on what part of the world you're in. So shift uh, ZZ, shift ZZ, and that gets you out of the program uh, just as quickly. So there are different ways of getting out. And in fact, you can actually also get out uh, by pressing Control Z, which actually stops the uh, program. And then of course, if you do FG, you can get back into it again, but that's just a uh, normal uh, kind of Linux command line stuff. Okay, so there are the basics of using uh, VI or Vim. So in a worst case situation, you're able to go into a file, you can do some minor changes, you can save it and you can get out again without destroying everything. And really, there have been lots of occasions where the only thing I had access to was VI and I was able to do the editing I needed and get myself back on track doing the task that I was trying to do. 
And there you have it, there is my quick introduction to using VI or Vim. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me in the comments below if you like Linux command line tutorials and what kind of other commands you'd like me to cover. Besides that, please don't forget to subscribe. Please do hit that bell notification icon and uh, well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.